In this clip, we want to demonstrate how the Checkmate test check wave link status can assist you when working with assemblies or components containing a lot of wave links. As an example, we have opened a typical ship concept assembly containing several components with a various number of wave links. Checkmate is a collection of quality tests built into NX for testing parts, assemblies or drawings. You will find Checkmate within the HG3D Tools dialog. Activate Checkmate using a right mouse button click. Clicking Setup Tests will open a dialog to load and configure your Checkmate tests. The first Parts tab shows you the parts currently selected for checking. You can select the current work part to check, specify a folder in Team Center containing parts to check. We want to apply a check to all loaded parts in this session. On the Tests tab, we can select within a range of Checkmates tests to apply. You will find the Check Wavelink Status tests within the category Get Information Assemblies Check Wavelink Status. You will find documentation for each check. Add the selected tests. You now need to modify the tests. Choose the link status you want to test and the log option. We want to test for broken wave links. Each broken link should be reported with an error warning. Execute the test according to your configuration. The test shows us results in HD3D and the geometry window. To see them, we close the setup test dialog. The HD3D window contains a list of all tested parts. You can expand them to see which test applied on which feature. If you select the object, it also gets highlighted in the geometry window. You can use the right mouse button click to make your tested part the work part. A detailed test report for a selected test object can be opened by clicking in the tag. As you now see, you get an easy overview of your complete assembly. Within the HD3D settings, you can filter your report only to tested objects. On the tag or in the context menu of each object, you can zoom to the problem or choose to make its owning part to displayed part. This is to see the problem even better. As a second example, we configured the test to find delayed wave links. A delayed wave link should appear as a warning. The HD3D settings are configured to not show warning messages. 
We easily change this configuration by ticking Show Passed with Warning. Then we receive a list of all delayed wavelengths and their owning parts.